So to be completely honest, I'm a little beat after a long spoiler season, so I actually promised myself that I would not be working this weekend no matter what cards were spoiled. But of course, that changed the second that I found out some really exciting news. For those of you that don't know, Wayfarer's Bobble is a personal favorite of mine. It's got a special place in my heart, and it's kind of the card that I'm known for on this channel. And if you really want to know why exactly I love Wayfarer's Bobble so much, well, I actually did an entire episode on that one called Why is Mitch Obsessed with Bobble? Now, when I started this channel back in the end of July of 2018, I included Wayfarer's Bobble in a ton of my decks, and I always expected it to be a budget card. And at the time I started the channel, it was just a 12 cent card. Unfortunately, since I started this channel, Wayfarer's Bobble has not seen one meaningful reprint, and its price has skyrocketed. Even just using this current price of $3.21, that is a 2,575% increase from when the channel started. But things are finally looking up because in the Dungeons of Death pre-con, Wayfarer's Bobble is being reprinted. That's right, this is the first time since 2017 that this has been included in a new pre-con deck. A huge thank you to my patrons who notified me of this, and also as one of them said, this is not a drill, and I couldn't have said it better. Again, I definitely wasn't planning on recording anything this weekend, I was just planning on taking a break, but this news was just too exciting that I could not hold it in and I just had to talk about it, so I hope you're as excited as I am about this reprint. Now at this point, I'll take what I can get, but it's only in one of the four pre-cons, but again, I will take what I can get. So in all actuality, how much will this affect the price of Wayfarer's Bobble? I really am not sure. But this reprint has me really excited for a couple of reasons. Number one, Wizards realizes that this is a needed reprint in Commander, so they're putting it in a pre-con deck where it can be reprinted. So that makes me think that there's a higher percentage chance now moving forward in a pre-con deck to see more reprints of Wayfarer's Bobble. It also gets me excited about a potential reprint in a full set like Commander Legends 2, which is definitely going to be coming out at some point. Commander Legends was a huge success, and again, I've got no insider information on this, but if I had to guess, I would say that we're going to be seeing Commander Legends 2 in 2022. And again, if I had to guess, I would say that we are most definitely going to be seeing Wayfarer's Bobble in a Commander Legends 2 set. So yeah, I am really excited. I am ecstatic about the future for Wayfarer's Bobble. I really hope that this reprint, as well as future reprints, drop its price back down into budget territory so I can start using it in my decks again. It has been far too long since I've said goodbye to the Bobble, and I just want to say hello again. So yeah, this is a great first step in the right direction, and I can't wait to see where this goes. Anyways, thanks for putting up with me during spoiler season, and yeah, I will see you again next week at some point after I have rested and relaxed just a bit. And as always, thanks again, and have a good one.